leader format tab of the multi-leader style dialog box. We're going to go up here to leaders and we're going to go to multi-leader style manager and we're going to modify. That brings me to my leader format tab. In the general section we can choose the type. This is a straight type uh, typically used in the mechanical world. In the spline we get a curvy spline usually used in the architectural world and I could say none so then I don't have one so we generally go straight for mechanical since I am doing mechanical style here I'll go with the mechanical the color I can go by by block so whatever uh, the by block settings means that the color assigned to the multi-leader is used for the component objects in the multi-leader and, and that's true down here in the color the line type and the line weight. These are acceptable if you keep them like this, um, but I also like going to by layer. That means whatever color it is on the layer I put this on, so if I put this on a dimension layer and my dimension layer is red, this will be a red layer because it'll take on the properties of that layer. So I like to set all these by layer, but also by block is acceptable. The arrowhead is typically a closed field, and our typical standard size for an arrowhead is eighth of an inch. So I'll set that to an eighth of an inch. And the leader break size is an eighth of an inch. Now this is when we break a leader uh, using the dim break command, it will break the leader. However, please note the ASME standard does not recommend breaking the leader lines. So once again, this is the leader format tab of the multi-leader style dialog box.